Hey, and welcome back to Project in Progress. I'm Haley from Architectural Justice. Today's piece of custom furniture is actually a piece envisioned by the customer themselves, designed to become the focal point of their dining room. The dining table has a sculpted maple top with granite and epoxy inlays and a custom metal tree base. She began by selecting her piece of sculpted maple from among our collection of live edge wood. Our granite shop cut and polished the stone inserts and then sent them to the wood shop to be fitted. Troy made the pattern for the stone, chiseled out the correct size insert, and for most of this he used a router and pattern fit. It's a very delicate process. Small holes are filled with black dyed filler that won't dry or crack. He then carefully sands and shapes the top to give it a smooth finished feel. Lastly, he creates the mortise for the table base to fit snugly into. Over in the metal shop, Tim is using the tree pattern to trace the shape of the tree onto the steel. The steel is then plasma cut into the shape. He uses a right angle grinder to sand down the harsh edges of the cut metal. He hand hammers the branches into their shape giving them that nice curve, and then welds that tree into place. After a bit more cleanup, the base is ready to be finished. Carrie's using a flat black enamel, which is a spray-on finish. First it's primed, then it's covered again with a top coat. So back in the wood shop, Tim is preparing the epoxy mixture for a late addition to our project. Our client saw some of our epoxy and really wanted us to incorporate that into the tabletop as well. He's using two parts resin to one part curing agent. He mixes in the mica flakes to give it that reflective quality. The torch is then used to remove the bubbles that naturally form in the mixture. Uh, it's good to dry overnight so that the epoxy can harden. The next morning, Tim removes the plexiglass that's holding the now dry epoxy in place. He begins sanding the surface to remove any raised epoxy and then level the tabletop. tabletop will be finished using a spray-on clear dull finish. The sealer is applied first. Carrie then will sand that down and then spray the top coat over the whole thing. After drying, the final step is securing the stone inlays. 
Tim applies silicone to the cutout section and carefully places the stem. He tapes off the area to protect the surface as he applies the final caulk around the edges of each insert. After loading everything up, Justin, Johnny, and I deliver the table to the home of our client. It was actually really special to reveal the final piece to the client. She was the one who came up with the original sketch for the table, and I could tell that she really loved how everything came together. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Project in Progress. If you haven't yet, go back and watch the first episode for a more in-depth look at the epoxy process. And once again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Project in Progress.